recipe testers, my mom, Myra, and my husband, Aaron. <laughs> home situation, hey? A little bit. It is. Yeah. yeah. As you all heard, uh, the first dish I made for my mom was cornflakes and water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mom, yeah. everyone wants to know, how was it? Was it delicious? I ate it. Yeah. <laughs> and you were four and a half, and you could hardly see over the top of my big, tall bed, and you watched me the whole time. Yeah. There was no hiding. I'd eat the whole bowl. Yeah, you couldn't do, like, a stage eating. No, and it was Mother's Day. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I was See, asleep. you say, oh, but I was probably just trying to show up my brother. <laughs> yeah, I remember where he was. He was off doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today, I wanted to make a little bit of a nod to that original dish, but like actually make it taste good. So we are making <laughs> my baked Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. Ooh. I know. I'm really excited about it. It's super simple. And to get started, I'm gonna put you to work. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, I oh. cook. I cook good. She does. She does. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna oh, oh. be good at crushing. Okay, so I've got some just plain cornflakes here, okay. and I need you to crush those down really nice and fine. Yeah, get As quick as you can and as much as you want. Watch out for that iced tea. Aaron, you're on iced tea. Ooh, it's already, uh, already happening. Uh, yeah. Just like at home. Just like at home. Spill one. Like, yeah. You think that looks Even good? more. Really more. give it. Basically, you're looking for the cornflakes to be kind of the consistency of the bottom of the cereal bag. Mm -hmm. You know give what I mean? A, give a crunch there. Yeah, give a couple crunches. Go. Okay, that was beautiful. This is noisy. I know it is noisy. <laughs> she knows. All right, that is what you're looking for. You're looking for about two cups of crushed cornflakes. Because traditionally, Nashville hot chicken is deep fried. Delicious. Love a deep mm -hmm. fry. But if you're planning on making this on a Tuesday, I'm not going to tell you to bust out a big old vat of oil. So by using cornflakes, you get like crispy, golden brown, delicious fried kind of flavor and texture without actually mm. frying. So, pretty good. I feel like this was a this was something I learned from you. It, surprisingly. I, I used to make something that was similar to yeah. this. Yeah. But it wasn't all spiced up and everything. No, we got to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> it was bit. like a chicken with cornflakes yeah. on top, yeah. basically. Yeah. yeah. Delicious. All right, so that's it. And, and we want to make, like, a breading station here. So I've got those cornflakes, and it's going to be the final breading station. But we also need to make a nice little kind of a uh, dry mixture that's going to dry out the chicken and let everything stick on. So into a small kind of shallow pie plate, I want to add in half a cup of all-purpose flour. If you wanted to here, you could use gluten-free flour. That won't make any difference. Add that on in. And then we're going to season this up. So I need one teaspoon of garlic powder. And I love garlic powder. Yeah. It just tastes like, it tastes like you spent a lot of time roasting garlic, but you didn't. You just opened a jar, <laughs> and you get to dump it in and get so much flavor so quickly. Now, into there, I'm also going to add in half a teaspoon of onion powder. And onion powder is great because, mm. again, it gives you that kind of cooked onion. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't know. But... No. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <onions. Yeah. laughs> All right. Now, we're also adding cayenne pepper because this is a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. So you can add a quarter teaspoon, but I think, Mom, we're going to do a half teaspoon. Oh, yeah. We like spicy in our family. We're a spicy family. We're very yeah, spicy. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. You got to go for the spice. <laughs> add that on in. And now I want to season that flour with some salt and pepper. Anytime I'm putting anything on really any sort of meat, I like to season every layer because that's going to give you nice, delicious saltiness all the way through, but not be like salty, you know? A little bit of pepper in there too. Give that a whisk up just to combine. And that's that dry dredge done. Now, we can't just stick the chicken in this dry flour and then into those cornflakes. That would be a disaster, and we don't want that on our first show. <laughs> so we need to make, like, a gloopy mixture. And that's a technical term that I've made up mm -hmm. right gloopy. now. Yeah. Gloopy? Mm -hmm. I can handle that. You can handle gloopy. Gloop, you yeah. know what I'm talking about, though. So I'm going to make a, a kind of an egg wash. So I'm adding in one egg into, again, a shallow pie plate. And then I'm also going to add in, and this is my secret ingredient, a few tablespoons of mayonnaise. Mm. I know. So I do this because sometimes I'm like, I don't want to crack another egg. Eggs are delicious on their own. I want it for breakfast tomorrow. But <laughs> the mayonnaise, what that's going to do is it's going to kind of just gloop this up. Make it really nice and thick. Also, mayonnaise is just egg and oil with a little bit of flavoring in there. So it's just gonna make this actual layer taste good, which is awesome. And it's gonna make more of that cornflake situation stick on the outside, which is perfect. 
So give that a whisk up. That looks gloopy. It is yeah. gloopy. Yeah, I like that. There's no other way to describe this than gloopy. <laughs> it is gloopy. So we're gonna do that. Oh, I have a, no, no, okay, we're gonna do this. Oh. All right, now to season this up, you can leave this as is, but we like spicy, as we've discussed. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding in two or three tablespoons of cayenne pepper hot sauce. Oh, this oh, is gonna be yeah. really spicy. I know, we're going oh. spicy. Just, just you wait, my I didn't know that when I said that. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're gonna get real spicy. Okay, so that is literally it. We've got the dredging station all done. And I've got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs here that I've just dried off with a little bit of paper towel. And that's good because basically that's gonna get a little bit of the moisture away, so this mm -hmm. chicken's not gonna steam. Cause I don't know if you know anything, but steamed chicken, not you, great. You taught me that. Mm -hmm. I no, know. you want like flavor and golden mm -hmm. brown. So chicken thighs are also great. They're my mom's favorite. They are, they're so much more flavorful. Mm -hmm. They're just the right size. They cook quicker. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best part of the chicken. It is. Yeah. Listen to my Reberg. Yeah. And they're also <laughs> often on sale, which is great. Yeah, so they're cheap. They're yeah. cheap. Who can ask for more? They also already come kind of like a little filet. Like, they're already flattened out, so I don't have to do anything to them. But I'm just going to add that into that dry mixture. Then it's going into gloop. <laughs> so we're going to gloop it up a bit. Yeah. Just toss that around. Again, you're seeing all that chili sauce on there. Then this is going into those corn flakes, and this is where you get that crunch. It's gonna be kind of like the outside, that chicken skin that gets so beautiful and golden brown when you deep fry it. I'm just gonna pop that now onto a rack line baking sheet. And you need the rack, because that's gonna allow heat to get underneath so it doesn't get steamed. Again, we mm -hmm. don't want steam, we don't want moisture. Oh, that's why you get the mushy on the bottom You of get my the chicken. mushy. You don't, got the gloopy, I got the mushy. You got the mushy. <laughs> and we don't want mushy. So, no. using a rack line baking sheet, that heat of the oven's gonna get all the way around. Now, this is gonna go into my 425 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it is cooked through and delish. Mm. So I'm gonna pop that on in. And through the magic of double ovens. <laughs> We have got some right here. Ooh. Looking Ooh. golden brown. <laughs> like, it's so easy. So easy. So easy, so crunchy. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I gotta make a really quick sauce, because that is a little spicy, but we need to be super mm -hmm. spicy. Mm -hmm. So Ooh. I've got half a cup of butter over here, and into there to cut through the fattiness of that, I'm gonna add something a little acidic. You could do apple cider vinegar, but I always have pickles in my house. Ah, I wondered mm -hmm. about those pickles. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah. add in about two tablespoons of that pickle juice. Ooh. Again, this is cooking, so we're loosey-goosey with those measurements. Just make it good until it tastes right to you. And then we're gonna spice this up. So we're going in with a tablespoon and a half of cayenne pepper. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. It's spicy. It's gonna be good and spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're like Myra Berg and your cayenne pepper is from 1982, then you could put like a cup. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. Yeah. She made me throw everything out. Yeah, we do, we do like a cull every it once in a while. It's been in the freezer since 1982. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but to balance out that spice, I'm also adding in one and a half tablespoons of brown sugar, which is going to give this like a caramelly consistency. Mm -hmm. Really nice. I know. Now, a teaspoon of paprika, because that's for that sweet pepper flavor, which is great. And then, again, we want a little bit of garlic. So I'm tossing in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Season that with a little bit of salt. Give that a whisk up. And that is a delicious, buttery, wonderful, spicy sauce. Delicious. And all I want to do, yes. All I want to do with this is bring it on over to this chicken and just pour that and spoon that oh over top. I can smell the spice. You that can smell great. it. But yeah, that looks delicious. Out of control. Now, that is done, looking great. I'm just gonna pop that. Don't put it on the counter, Mary, we're at home. <laughs> <laughs> and to build the sandwich, we've got some Texas toast. I'm gonna add on that crispy, delicious chicken, which, Mom, I'm really glad you wore this outfit. Yeah, because I get two. you're not gonna get, you want two? No, that's that's kind of two attached together. No, that's one thigh. <laughs> yes, I want to. No. But she wore the right outfit because if she spills, it's it, gonna blend it'll in. It'll just blend. I spill a lot. Now I'm hoping to pickle time. on the side because I love a pickle. Okay. But if you want, you can put sliced pickles on top of there. Aaron, you are good to go. Here's yours. Perfect. Thank you. I'll give you a pickle later. Um, yeah. Perfect. <laughs>
<laughs> now dig in. So sandwich those babies together. Okay. You can put more sauce on there too. Yeah. Really mash it down. Yeah, really get into it. Yeah. Mommy, ready? ready for this? Yeah. Okay, okay here we go. Uh. Oh, nicely done. Mm. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Absolutely beautiful, crispy, spicy. Mm -hmm. You can bring some home. Oh, She's ooh, got lunch ready for her. Spice is it? Yeah. Well, thank you both so so much for coming oh, out today and for always being there. All right. When we come back, I get to sit down with Canadian Jeopardy pit champ Matea Roach. <laughs> Hey, Mary here. What did you think? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the good stuff.